most of the species here have adapted to a world of fire and ash. The recent volcanic activity still has some environmentalists worried. When there was an eruption on the main island of Isabella, authorities rushed to airlift a population of slow-moving giant tortoises out of the path of the lava flow. The military was called in to strap the heavy creatures to helicopters. These animals can live to be 150 years old. And this was undoubtedly the ride of a lifetime. At least one tortoise was singed. The rest cared for in captivity until they could be safely returned. So some of the tortoises were moved out of the way uh, temporarily and then put back. They were moved to our breeding center. A couple have been kept there. Uh, most of them put back after the eruption finished. Animal species on the Galapagos may have survived volcanoes for millennia. But scientists say humans are a bigger threat. Huge numbers of giant tortoises, for example, were hunted for their oil, drastically reducing their population. Meanwhile, non-native plants and animals, brought here by settlers and mariners over the centuries, are altering the habitat for native species. Some worry a volcanic flow could affect these weakened populations. We're much more worried about the impact that an eruption or the fires generated by an eruption might have on these tiny remnants of populations. So although uh, they may have been able to survive an eruption and fire relatively well in the past when they occupied larger areas, um, now they're, they're very vulnerable as a result of the effects of humans. But some species here are surprisingly resilient. A recent study indicates that a massive eruption on one of the islands 100,000 years ago likely killed all but a handful of giant tortoises, possibly sparing only a single egg-bearing female. All of the giant tortoises on that island today are believed to be descendants of those few survivors. Individuals died off, but the species managed to live on. They have to be adapted to move from place to place, to be able to re-establish quickly uh, in new areas, and to be adapted to having populations partly extinguished by lava flows and fires. Still, when the lava starts flowing, environmentalists here are reluctant to take chances. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.